Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre Squires and today we are doing a pattern review on the warm and twisted Mobius cowl, which was designed by Rebecca Velasquez. I apologize if I pronounced the last name incorrectly. I did my best. <laughs> so, and this is a free pattern uh, offered by Yarn Inspirations on their website. So check it out. I'll leave a link below for um, the Yarn Inspirations website. So this Mobius twist crochet pattern was a crochet spin on a knit design from what I understand it um it's done by when you make the base the foundation chain which will be done in a round you do a half twist when you go to connect the ends which um if you have seen previous videos of mine I've um, <laughs> I've told, I've uh, confessed my fear of, not my fear of rounds, but my my lack of confidence with rounds. So this was definitely a challenge for me and um, I, it might be a challenge for you and it, I think it's a great pattern to try out doing something different. So the pattern calls for Red Heart Boutique Yarn in Midnight, which is probably what drew me to this specific design, um, I tend to really gravitate th towards things that are blue or green or purple. They're just my colors, things I really enjoy wearing and looking at. And the pattern calls for a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And guys, when I tell you that I'm so thankful that they had the uh, end dimensions of this pattern, um, I'm so grateful <laughs> because I had to use a 10 millimeter crochet hook to make this project. <laughs> and I knew that my tension was, was up there. I'm a very tight crocheter. I always have to go up um, when making um, items and this was no different. <laughs> so, so in the way that I determined that I needed to have a 10 and a half or 10 and a half, a 10 millimeter crochet hook was when I made the base chain um, with a six and a half millimeter, I knew it wasn't going to be big enough. Luckily with the end dimensions of um, knowing that it would be 14 when it's laid flat, it would be 14 inches laid flat or 28 inches in circumference um, really helped me determine how big I had to go and luckily I didn't have to go any bigger because I don't have a bigger crochet hook than 10 millimeter that's my biggest hook so which is <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to invest in bigger hooks in the future so and this pattern because it was a Mobius twist it was definitely different from what I've done in the past so and with this pattern um, you do the base chain and then you actually do a, a, a one first row down the chain and then you actually do the twist when you connect the ends when you um, bring it together bring the ends together and do the half twist and then start your crocheting and with the rounds what was really interesting is that you're actually going on the top and the bottom of the base chain um, and you do that's one round so you're actually doing double which was really cool to see and to, but it was a little difficult at first to understand from the directions. It took a little trial and error for me to discover that that was what's, what's going on. And it was really, really cool to watch it grow um, from, you know, a base chain to um, this. And it's a, it's 10 inches flat laid down. So I made the dimensions there. Um, uh, I am a little disappointed that it's not as lush as the um, picture that came with the pattern. Um, of course it could be maybe the yarn that was the boutique yarn, maybe was a little bit bigger, like still considered a worsted weight yarn. And this is, maybe this is, um, this is a red heart worsted weight yarn in real teal, I believe. Um, but it, um, it just doesn't feel as lush. And it could be also that I'm also in a bigger body than the mo than the model in the picture which would make things look a little differently and that's understandable but it's still a cute um article of clothing um if i see if i can 
to show you the twist over here. You can see that, see the twist right here? It's really cool to look at. Um, and I would totally do something like this again. Maybe a little bit bigger, um, but I thought it was really cool. And, and also I would like to uh, point out that Red Heart and Yarn Inspirations, they um, are really great at taking their patterns and labeling them at different, um, labeling, the, labeling them at different skill level, like beginner, uh, intermediate, ex ex expert, I think. Mommy. Not sure. And and that's also a great way for if you're a beginner, a beginning, if you're just starting out crocheting, that you were able to kind of determine if it would, would be um more diff more challenging for you to do. And this was a little challenging for me, I won't I won't lie. Um and I believe this was basically double crochet and single crochets on the rounds. So they were pretty basic stitches, which was great. Um, the Mobius part was more of the challenge. And this is coming from somebody who, I'm not sure where I land in the crochet skill level. Because I've been crocheting for a long time, since I was uh, probably 10, 11 years old. Um, and I'm in my 30s now. Um, but I haven't really branched out into um, more difficult or challenging um, stitches until fairly recently, so pr pretty much since COVID hit, um, when I was learning, um, decided to start challenging myself more. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm talking about, follow me. Uh, you can share my video. And if there is a pattern that you want reviewed, whether it's your pattern that you uh, want reviewed or a pattern that you are looking at, that, but you're not quite sure if you can manage it and want someone else to talk, talk you through it a little bit, please leave a comment below. And the next video might be a bit, uh, the next video may be a pattern that you want reviewed. All right. Okay, guys, it was great talking to you and I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye.